Hello everyone, how are you? Nice to see you again. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for your time. I'm here to do a tutorial, a, a DIY, how to make your own animal dots, if I'm saying just a, if I'm saying correct, <laughs> what I said, <laughs> if I'm saying correct the word, and uh, you can make them animal dots or you can make them flat back pearls. I made those to use as flat back pearls uh, but it depends how you will uh, uh, paint them or what color you will add on or what um, the, what will be the shape that you give them so you can go learn animal dots or flat back pearls so let's see i have done some preparation before what you will need you will need your glue gun of course I have my glue gun here, dripping, if it drips, because it drips a little bit, in a candle, reso, in a small one, it's a used one, and I have this just like that, so it won't drip uh, on my table, but even though, you can, even if it drips on your table, you can remove it with baby wipe. I have also a baby wipe, uh, you will also need your spatula, a metal spatula is preferred. You will need something with um, a thin blade. You can also use your blade, your cutting blade that you're using to crack cutting knife that you're using to pick them up. You will use. You will need uh, glue sticks, and uh, you will need uh, whatever you wish. Uh, I use nail polish. But you can just also use acrylic paints. I have done some with acrylic paints. I don't have them right now. I use this uh, white purple nail polish. It's a cheap one. costs around two to fifty around there. So you will also need a plate, or if you have, I don't have a non-sticky mat. But some ladies have uh, the non-sticky mat that is um, ideal for glue gun use. So your um, silicone doesn't glue, a silicone mat, uh, I don't know how you say it. If you have that, it's uh, best, but since I don't have it, I use just a simple tape uh, plate. And I want a flat plate with not uh, too bulky edges, so I can lift them, I can remove the dots afterwards. What I do, I just, before I start, I take my baby wipe, we need it, we need it for many reasons, I take my baby wipe and uh, wipe the um, plate, so the baby wipe doesn't have only, it has a certain lotion inside that they, it's, uh, um, stay on the surface of the plate, <coughs> sorry, so that I can lift easier the dots afterwards. Uh, so, let's start. Uh, I will show you. I also use my baby wipe to clean my glue gun uh, because uh, while it's uh, I have one now there uh, already used, I clean my glue gun. You can also really clean your glue gun. <laughs> no, I use my baby wipe to clean my glue gun each time I. Uh, start a different um, dot so I will remove all the threads because you might have some threads over here there hanging so let's see uh, I will just uh, put uh, the glue gun in the ankle so you can see the shape and the size is it depends on you if you see here I have some already done and some of them are tiny and some of them are wider. The size is completely up to you how, you, how big or small you want them. And also the bulkiness is also depends upon you because if you lift your glue gun while you're doing it, you will uh, give the um, dot uh, to be more high. And if you lift your glue gun more closely to the dot while you're doing it, your dot will be more flat. So let's start and see. 
Um, can you see? I will make some here. I'm just don't. I'm not touching the surface of the plate. I have uh, my glue gun uh, a little bit uh, upper than that, and you don't want it too high because you will just have threads. You. I'm just pressing and leaving the gravity to do all the whole work and just doing a circular motion to lift up the gun so this one uh, wasn't really perfect even though the gravity will do most of the work because the glue will uh, sit there because it's a quantity of glue that's why it will sit there I didn't do the perfect dot here, you, you can see it, I don't know if it, the camera picking it up but uh, it don't matter and uh, you will make some mistakes in the beginning so don't worry about that it's just a matter of practice uh, so you can improve your thoughts I will do, make some more so you can see I'm just doing a circle motion to avoid the threads and here it's let's see if it sits no I didn't do this good also let's keep you know when you're going to do a video then it's the time when you mess up you know I don't know if you have it so I'm just doing a circle motion until I see the thread of from my uh, silicone is cut and I clean the glue gun, the tip of the glue gun, so I won't have any threads. Can you see that number? Sorry, I can zoom in and out. <laughs> so let's make a wider one. And you see I started badly. And now I'm doing the circle motion to cut the fit. Can you see that? It's like putting the topping and the icing on your cakes. You want to press your glue gun sturdy. <coughs> and uh, it depends how wide or... Oh, you can see that. I prefer to do it like that, straight, but you won't be able to see. I just hold my glue gun like that. And be careful, because it's hot. I just glue, hold my glue, uh, keep my glue gun like that and press the um, handle steadily to the end, almost, so I can have more um, bigger glue. Just like that. It's, it, it's um, the way it helps me. But uh, that way you won't be able to see. That's why it's harder for me right now. Can you see right now? I'm just pressing until I have a perfect dot. And I'm just leaving the gravity to do the rest. If you don't have your glue gun straight, you will uh, probably get the dots of center. But don't worry, just leave the gravity to the rest because the uh, silicone is still very hot, so it still keep melting. It will take a shape. And I will make another or two more so you can see them. Let's do a big one if you can. I can do it with the glue gun on the side, it won't come straight. So, that's really huge. Can you see this? It's really huge. It didn't come perfect uh, round. Even though now it's melting, it's becoming more shape. But that's what it's the the only reason for that is because I'm laying the gun like that. You have to keep it straight. It's more perfect. Let's give you an example. If I keep it straight, you won't be see me melting. 
but you will see the result that was it now we have a perfect dot and if you have like I do right now a small tiny thread don't worry let it uh, there sit I have a tiny tiny thread as soon as it's cool, it's, it will cool it down I have a tiny, 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 very thin, I don't know if you can see it, like a hair thread string, how do you see it? And just leave it because, as again, the heat and the gravity will fix this, and then you will just pull the thread, I, I feel it here, my thread, after it's cooled down a bit. Because if you peel your, th if you peel your thread, if you to try to take it off while it's hot, you will uh, destroy your dot. And let's make a small, small, tiny one so you can see. I'm just... Oh, I have to put some silicone. Sorry, I forgot that. <laughs> I have to refill my gun. So, just press steady and leave the gravity to do the rest. It's not hard, too hard. I will do a small one. Small, more, small ones are more fun. And if you see, I have some threads here in my gun. I don't know if the camera picking, is picking it up. I won't pull the thread now. I'm just letting it cool down and then I will pick it. If you have strains or not threads, I don't know how you say it, uh, uh, with your glue gun, it, many times it depends from the glue you're using. I using uh, some glue sticks before, glue sticks before, they didn't do me that uh, tiny, very thin strains and threads. They didn't do this that much. These ones, I don't know, they do it a lot. Uh, so, after you do your threads, your strings, whatever you want to call them, just let me lift it, this aside. After you do that, you won't pick your dots yet. You just leave them to cool down. And after they are cooled down, you will take then your nail polish. You can find cheap nail polish. I think you have dollar stores and that, uh, stuff like that in your countries. You will you can get cheap nail polish in colors you like, or otherwise you can take just your acrylics, and uh, when they're totally cool and uh, you can touch them are totally cool, you will take your nail polish and just paint over them. You will probably need to make more than one coat of uh, paint. I don't know if you can see them. I like nail polish because it leaves them more polish, uh, how do you say, it? more smooth surface, if you know what I mean. You will just take your nail polish and paint them. You will need probably more than one coat. I use, I do two to three coats. This one, are, uh, this one has uh, two coats. I did one in white and one in brown, just to show you that you can use them also to make um, enam enamel dots. And uh, you can also take your brush and uh, paint around it, but when you paint, like I did here, when you paint around your dot, uh, then you will have to take your spatula and clean the paint. Let me show you here. I paint around my dots also, that way it touches my 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 plate, sorry, my, my dish, how do you say it? And I did it very badly now, very sloppy, just to show you. And the paint is uh, touching my plate, so I take my craft, my, my palette knife and I clean the edges. So when I'm trying to pick up the dot, I will not have the paint peeled from the dot. And since your dot is uh, round, it has a curved shape, so you won't uh, destroy your paint. 
I don't know if I'm explaining to you correctly. So I'm just peeling the paint off from the plate, not from the dot, the, ex the ex excess of paint. So when I peel the dot, I won't have it uh, peeling off. So I just did that. And can you see, you can have some paint on your plate, but you don't worry about that. Am I sorry? Sorry. So, these are the ones I made before and let them dry. So, dry. So, the only thing we do now is just go here and put the palette knife or the craft knife or whatever underneath and pull the dope to up. Can you see? It's just like that. If you have the not sticky mat, it will be better for you, the one that is... Uh, opa. Oh, I messed up here. The nail polish was too fresh, yet I destroyed the dot. I, I won't mind, I will just peel the paint off and uh, repaint it again. But it's better... now I completely destroyed it. <laughs> wow. I will just peel the nail the paint off and do it again. Again. But here... Yeah. Can you see? It's easy to do it again uh, because the dot is dry already. Uh, but it's more easier to paint your dots while they are still on the surface. Otherwise, it will be more tricky because they will be moving. And I can show you, for example, right now because I really messed up. Can you see the dot is moving? So I won't be perfectly painted. And I also, when I paint it, do the circular motion, so it will be prettier. So that's my tutorial. I hope you like it and find it helpful. Helpful. And we have a thread here. And I'm really, I have a uh, strange from the baby wipe. That's why you don't use your used baby wipes. You have to use a new one. Clever me. Wow, genius of me. So, I just have the genius, genius. So, that's that. You did your dots. It's very easy to do them. Uh, it won't take long to dry. See, those here are almost dry. But you leave them for some minutes, less than half hour, I guess, and uh, you put your nail polish and uh, that you have to really leave it dry and it dry is slower than it dry on your nails, that you have to be careful and uh, that's that, I hope you like it don't forget to share, comment, like and subscribe and we will speak soon, hugs and kisses, thank you for watching, thank you for stopping by